Job chapter 39 verse 17 because the most high had deprived her of wisdom neither had imparted to her understanding I want to start out by giving our praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akim teaching about the Mayan Wa Moth. That's in sincerity and truth. Shalom. It's the brother Yachazak from GMS Dallas, and I just wanted to put together a couple of scriptures, uh, just a few precepts, uh, you know, regarding the women and the order that's been put out by the elder apostle Tahar. You know, uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, the women in the role that they in it was written you know what i'm saying and if you're gonna jump in here in this book if you're gonna jump in here in this book <laughs> without the understanding of what it takes to please the heavenly father you're gonna lose big time man all right so the understanding that was that the woman was deprived of was that breath that was breathed on adam which he was uh to to deal with eve you know eve sought out a better way you know so the breath that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that was blown on Adam gave him the understanding on how to please Yahweh in the flesh on the planet. Right? And she dropped the ball first, and then Adam dropped the ball because he didn't correct her. And here we are today. Right? So let's get a few prescripts. Let's get a few precepts. Let's get Genesis 3. Alright, let's get Genesis 3. right i'm gonna start at the top right it says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and he said unto the woman yea hath the most high said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden all right now let's get this word let's get this word uh subtle all right let's get this word subtle all right a rum all right Crafty, shrewd, sensible, right? Crafty, sly, sensible. These are human characteristics, right? All right, now we're going to get serpent, right? We got serpent, which is a uh, Nahash, right? Serpent, image of a serpent, fleeing serpent, right? Fleeing, right? Going to the root. Right to practice divination to observe the signs or omens. Right to practice divination, divine, observe signs, learn by experience. Right, diligently observe, practicing fortune telling. Right, take as an omen. Right, this is speaking of a man. Right, in the beginning, during the creation, you had three classifications of Adam you had the sons of God. You had the sons of men, which later became the other nation. The sons of God later became the Israelites. The sons of the wicked later became Edom. Esau, Edom. All right. And Esau, Edom, serp the serpent convinced Eve that there was a better way than what Adam had presented to her. All right. It says, and the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Going into these other philosophies, right? You have uh, now the philosophy is that you can cross out the Messiah and replace him with medicine and technology. You see, that's their, that's their thing now. You see, that's another philosophy. And our people are hook, line, and sinker biting into it. You see? And then in verse 4, right? Eve just told the serpent that if she go off, uh, if, if she go off, they gonna die. What does the serpent say? And the serpent said unto the woman, "Ye shall not surely die, for the Most High doth know that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil." Right? We were only supposed to know good. So as the as the result, as the result, right? This is the punishment. The Lord said, and I will put enmity. Oh, matter of fact, I'm going to start at. Uh, matter of, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all the meat. We ain't going to play with it. All right. It says, and the Lord came unto Adam and said, where art thou? And he said, I heard the voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee? 
that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman who thou gavest me, uh, gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, He said, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Right now, let's go. Let's get a uh, beguiled. Let's get that word beguiled real quick. You know, and, and and at the end of the and at the end of the day, this devil has beguiled Eve so much to the point that they think they're gonna run things in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Men ain't gonna be doing this. They ain't gonna be doing that. And show me a scripture. It is. And, uh, first of all, the tabernacle is with men. The understanding is gonna be with men. You obviously don't understand the scriptures if you think you're gonna go into the scriptures and confound the men of the Lord. That's a heavy demon, man. You see beguiled right utterly beguiled right to beguile to deceive so the the serpent deceived eve into thinking that paradise wasn't good enough here it is the heavenly father yahweh shy the angels everybody said it was all good during the creation and then here come this devil and eve fell hook line and sinker for it man period point blank all right and this is the this is this is the deal from moving forward all right it says and the lord said and the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly thou shalt go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. All right? Meaning they were going to be in a state of confusion. Verse 15, it says, And I will put enmity between the, uh, thee and the woman. Right? The, the battle between uh, uh, good and evil was being set up. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was starting to flourish at this point. And between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. You know what I'm saying? Going into the ongoing battle between the Israelites and the Edomites is what materialized from this um, situation. Right? It says, unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and uh, thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee. Let's get that in the NLT. Let's get that same thing in the NLT. Right? All right. It says, and I will cause hostility between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike your head and you shall strike his heel. Then said he to the woman, I will sharpen the pain of your pregnancy and in pain you will give birth and you will desire to control your husband. But he will rule over you. You see, the Lord set this up and the Lord didn't set that up to be mean. He set that up because that's his will. Right. The order is the Heavenly Father, His Son, the man, and the woman. Period. It's period. You can't do nothing about that. Can't, Esau can't do nothing about that. Right? All right, let me see. Let's get a... Uh, we got deprived of wisdom. All right, let's get a... Uh, keep silence. Yeah, keep silence. And you think that just because you typing instead of talking, that, that, ain't, that ain't... No, that, that's not silence. Silence is all the way around. Right. Uh, yeah, let's get up. First Corinthians 14. Right. All right. This is. First Corinthians 14, 31, it says, for ye may all prophesy one by one that all may learn and all may be conform, uh, comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, men, right? It says, for the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, and is in all the church. Uh, and for the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted for them to speak. That's what I'm saying. The reason why it's not permitted for women to speak in the church is because of what happened in the garden. Period. You got. You have to own that. You have to own that. God damn it, man. It says, but they are commanded to be under obedience, right? As also said the law. That's what I'm saying. When you gonna start making videos about how to sew, how to cook, how to be humble, how to be quiet, how to keep your head wrapped? That's what I'm saying. It's things in the, in the scriptures that women can teach other women. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The Lord going to clean up the whole nation from top to bottom, women included. Really? Really? Get that serpent madness out of her, man. You lost. You lost. 
you hitched you, you, you hitched your wagon to the wrong you hitched you hitched up to the wrong wagon, baby girl. What the fuck you want us to do? We got to adjust. We had to get cut. Shut your ass up. And if they will learn anything, let them learn from the husbands at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. That's what I'm saying. If you don't have a man, pray to the Lord to give you one. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. My goodness, man. You know? All right, it was uh, one more precept I had, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it off, man. What was it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all act like y'all didn't transgress, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You had, nah, man, I would say the Lord didn't put you on the planet to be mean to your ass. Like, stop. Shit. No, oh, they don't want to give me that one. That ain't nothing but Satan. Hold up, man. That ain't nothing but Satan. Yeah, there we go. Second, this is uh, 1 Timothy. Yeah, this is 1 Timothy chapter 1. I mean, chapter 2 verse. I'm going to start at 11. It says, let the woman learn in silence and in all subjection. Going back to Genesis, it says your husband is going to rule over you. Why? Because your husband understands what it takes to please the Heavenly Father when you clearly didn't. Okay? That breath that was breathed on Adam, he passed that down to Eve and she fumbled the ball. She fucking fumbled. Okay? It is what it is. Come on now. Don't make me pull out the apocrypha. If I was say, because if I pull out the apocryphal, they're going to cut my video. It says through the woman came sin, and through her we all die. Right? Matter of fact, I ain't even going to play with it. Let me get my apocryphal. I'm sick of this. Sick of this. Hey, man. The Lord dedicated chapters to this, man. I don't see none of you heifers in the apocrypha. You know what I'm saying? Running your mouth. Let me find what I'm looking for real quick, man. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 25, verse 23. It says, A wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh a heavy countenance, and wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her, we all die. Like, that's what I'm saying. So the Lord didn't say that? The Lord didn't say that? Go look at any movie, any movie where a man has some whole, a whole bunch of shit going. Look who messed it up for him. It was the woman every time, man. That's not a coincidence. That is not a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? Let me find some. Yeah, let me get a couple more precepts. All right. This is uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 26, verse 14. It says, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. You see, how you going to be well instructed when you don't listen? You let the serpent tell you what to do. Here it is. You got all these women talking about, don't be lying to me. I don't like to be lied to. When you constantly lying and you still holding on to the biggest lie you was ever told. That you was more important than what you are. Here it is. The Lord told, The Lord even said that about men. If a man think he is more than what he is, he deceiveth himself. How much more for the weaker vessel? You got to be kidding me. But that's what I'm saying. It was written in the story for y'all to stink up the field for a certain amount of time. And y'all are clearly in y'all lot. Y'all not resisting the will of the Heavenly Father, even though you think you are. You know, but hey, you know, I just want to, you know, add my two cents to the, to the pot. You know, with that, Lord willing, that was edifying. Lord willing to make y'all humble down, man. If the men got to humble down, the women do too. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rikahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.